Hi everyone! Do you know what the hottest trend in design right now is? It's all about hand painted and having that kind of the washed look and when you're painting stuff. So basically what we did is we are creating some wall panels and I'm here with my co-host Mandy McLaren. I'm Mark. Hi, how are you? I'm so excited to get all uh, into the paint today. You know what? I think this is going to be one of the hottest projects we've done on the show. I absolutely agree. And we are using my favorite paint. Para. Para, they're wonderful paint supply company. You know what, it's such a, a high quality paint as well. It is. And basically what we're going to be doing is, since hand painted stuff is so hot in design right now, mm -hmm. we really want to create something that we can bring at home and we don't have to spend a lot of money doing. Exactly. So I took a trip to the hardware store and I said, That's I'm going to get myself to go to. <laughs> some some panels. Yes. So I got these these oak panels that we're going to use as basically the halfway, uh, the halfway mark on mm -hmm. the wall. And then we're going to do a molding. Yep. And then the rest, and then we just paint the, the top of the wall. Exactly. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to create a unique look. I, d mm -hmm. I don't like things that everybody else has. Everybody knows that, right? Exactly. So I got also a stencil. Mm -hmm. and Very pretty. I love the Paisley designs. The Paisley. And you know what? It re just reminds me what the um, the trendy wallpapers that that we see in, in exactly. design and all that. Exactly. And again, design on a budget. You're still pulling in those trendy elements that are in right now. But you know what? It's fun and it's affordable to do. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you went shopping as well and you got yourself some... We did. We got some supplies. We've got our Tomboy uh, Tools paintbrush. Mm -hmm. We've got a measuring tape and we're also going to need some painter's tape as well. Yeah. And then we're also going to need some gloves. Mm -hmm. um, basically, just before the show, what I did is I had the I took the liberty of just putting a little bit of painter's tape on here. Yeah. Basically, what you want to do is you want to measure it out and make sure that you're um, that you're creating the, a very um, straight line. Like a grid, we're going to kind of create. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically, the reason you want to create a grid is you want to make sure that your paisley designs aren't all going like this, because then it looks like you had a little too much to drink before you started the. <laughs> no wine while you're painting, and two. I think it we helps. need instructions of these gloves. So. Oh dear lord. <laughs> and two, with the painter's tape and creating a grid, um, I know when I do projects, if I tend to just eyeball it, I don't have the straightest sense of uh, balance. So it tends to keep everything aligned a little more evenly. See, I love to eyeball things and tell people that it was supposed to turn out that way. But that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what we want to do is we want to grab our stencil here. Mm -hmm. And um, what you want to do is you want to get the... the um, the edge of the, the design, you want to put it at the edge of the tape here. Mm -hmm. So each time that you're doing your your um, your design, your stenciling, you you know that you're actually going to be following that straight line. Exactly. What I like here is that we did this straight line of three, and I mm -hmm. think we're going to do two, and then we're going to do three again. I think that's great. Just to create that unity between it, all the Paisley designs around it, right? Exactly. So I'm just going to eyeball it. <laughs> Go for it. See, if, if I was doing this on my own at home, what I would do is I would actually create a cross grid as well. So that is an option with your painter's tape and then yes. your easy measurements to just recreate it. I actually it. do, do uh, recommend that. Mm -hmm. If you haven't been doing this for years, it's always best to grab the tape and start measuring. This is the reason he's dealing with the stencil today. <laughs> You've got the good eye for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to see... Need a little bit of tape. Yeah. And then we're just going to grab the edge here. It's always fun finding the edge on the roll of tape. And you know what? When you have your gloves on, you can't... I'm not it's used harder to, gloves, to do the you know? thing. So creating a nice even grid around your stencil helps if you're a little, uh, you know, a little sloppy with a paintbrush. It just creates any extra overlap and protects the white underneath it. And it also protects that there's nothing worse than when you're, um, when you're actually with going with a paintbrush, mm -hmm. next thing you know your stencil moves. Or it seeps under when it's nice and flat, yeah, lay it flat, it tape it. You really mm -hmm. want it. And I always even lay one of my hands on there yeah. while I'm actually painting. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to grab a little bit of paint here that we already poured in. And the nice thing with hand painting is you can apply the coat of paint as thick or as thin as you want. If you wanted to give it more that um, thinner brushed look, yeah. all you need is a thin coat of paint. You can spread it around or you can do a nice solid heavy coat of paint on and there. And the more, the more paint that you use, the more texture that it will create. Mm -hmm. So it really depends on the look that you want. I like to do right in the middle. Yes. So certain parts of my design will have a little bit of texture to it. Certain parts will look more like they're brushed. Exactly. And that's the beauty of hand painting as well is it's got a unique look to it. And you see it a lot in fabric right now. Mm -hmm. so, it's very hot. Yeah, exactly. You see that kind of brushed look where it looks like a, a painted canvas. Yes. You see it in, in area rugs. Exactly. Where it basically looks like a painted canvas, but yet it's 
um, it's a rug or it's mm -hmm. a it's fabric. And just a quick little tip too, when you're all done uh, going over your stencil, you're going to want to lift it off as soon as it as soon as you can, because if it starts to dry, um, the edges when you peel back, it may peel some of the tape uh, paint as well. Yeah, exactly. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my tape off here, and then it. here you go. And that is absolutely stunning. And then voila. So basically, um, what you do is you let, let this dry. Mm -hmm. um, you can do multiple at a time. It's not, you know, you don't have to do one and then let, let it dry, do another one. Exactly. Um, I like to do multiples, but I like to do a couple different rows, let it dry, or a panel. Mm -hmm. Let it dry completely, do another panel, and just take your time doing it. Have fun. And a lot of time when you buy the packets of stencils, sometimes there's, it's the identical stencil, but you get two or three of them in a package. Yeah. So you can even pre-tape your stencils onto your wall and just go over it with your paintbrush and then lift everything off. And I love that idea. Mandy because mm -hmm. the other thing is if you put all your stencils on or at least a couple of lines you can actually see what it's gonna look like exactly so we kind of took the liberty because we, we were mimicking the wallpaper look but mm -hmm. if you're going with more of a bold spe uh, stencil yeah. you really want to see if it's actually gonna look good or not and you can exactly. kind of lay it out and see it that way yeah. and um, basically that's what it is so you just keep repeating this process and mm -hmm. then you grab uh, a nice molding here. We just basically grab uh, a small molding, but I would grab a little bit of a thicker molding here. Yes. More of a width. And uh, you put it on here. Mm -hmm. When you're when you're doing wall, uh, wall panels, you do have to make sure that you don't just nail them to the wall. You also mm -hmm. want to glue them. Yes. So go to your hardware store, ask for the appropriate glue. It usually comes like a caulk, uh, caulking type mm -hmm. of um, type of application. Mm -hmm. And then the reason you want to do that is you don't want to have the the bubble. The bubble. You yeah. really don't because it's very thin uh, wood. Exactly. And paneling has that tendency, especially if you're in um, an area where you've got a lot more moisture in your air. The yeah. paneling it will be affected by that. So the gluing just helps just keeps everything nice and smooth. Or an older home where you know your your walls are not necessarily straight. Exactly. You know, in the 1940s they didn't. All you know, they eyeballed it. Yeah, they eyeballed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is our eyeballing project on the Marketing Tool Show. I think it looks beautiful. I love it. I think this is going to look really nice in my bathroom. Absolutely. Perfect. Well, we'll see you next time for more design and decor tips.